What I'd like to do right now is go over my setup for my bike packing trip for 2018. Well, the bike I have for this trip is the uh, the Jamis uh, Dakota Pro, and I really like this bike. Uh, it's carbon fiber. I like the organic feel of carbon fiber versus a, a metal bike, and this is in a size medium. So, what I've got on with it are, uh, since it's a 29er, I have the Schwabel Knobby Nicks, which I kind of like because they're a really grippy, really aggressive tire for, for single track and, and dirt. Now, let's look at some of the backpacking gear that I have on the bike from the rear to the front. Uh, as you can see in the back, uh, I've got a seat bag, and I believe it's pronounced the Viscasha. I think that's how they pronounce it. Uh, inside that, what I'm keeping for this trip is my hammock setup. Above that, I have a little accessory mesh accessory pouch. I'll probably put, you know, a few little items that can get wet. Now, inside the jerry can, I've got my basic bike tools. Now, I am running stands. Uh, on this bike but I have a spare 29er tube just in case. I have a small little one ounce uh, container of stands inside it as well. In addition I've got an extra quick link, uh, I've got a uh, chain tool, uh, a regular bike tool, uh, multi-tool to be able to use with the various things that I'm going to need to fix my bike. So I've actually got a spare derailleur hanger for this bike in that bag. So basically inside the jerry can are all my bike tools. Now this is my frame bag and you'll notice it's a Relevate design. Same with all the other uh, bike packing componentry. What I found is they had the best bang for the buck. Oh. Has two zippers, a top and a bottom. And right now I don't have all my, my bike packing gear in it, or actually all my camping gear for the trip yet. And in this lower bag, I have my MSR pocket rocket and my uh, my Tokes cook kit. And underneath it, I don't want to get it out because it's kind of a pain, is the, uh, the gas canister that goes with the pocket rocket. So I think it's a little bound up there. I think with, uh, with what I have in here, this will be my cooking equipment. Uh, up here in this top space, uh, I have just a uh, little head sweats hat and a towel. I think what I'm going to do is put my rain gear, uh, things that I may need in Oregon uh, to be readily accessible to be able to clean myself and to keep dry up here in top. Now on this side, you've just got this one little pocket and it's kind of a small narrow pocket. And I think what I could do with this is put my maps. I mean, that's almost the right size for a folded map. Any kind of IDs or any kind of money or anything that I may need just to stick uh, in the bag for the trip. Now here we have the jerry can and right now I don't have any items inside it yet. I think what I'm going to do with this is put my go-to snacks or whatever I'm eating at that moment. I think that's the easiest way to do it since I'm going to be hovering over it it just kind of makes sense that that's what i need to do with this well once again going through the cockpit area of the bike these are called feed bags uh relevate designs really kind of designs them uh to uh to stick small items uh to be able to eat from to be honest that's what i'm using this for so that's not what i plan on using these for i think what i'm going to do because i have two of these one here and one here so i've got one on either side. I think what I'm going to do is stick the water bottles inside these since they're cylindrical and that's the best place for them. Uh, maybe stuff my electrolytes on the side. Right now I just have my uh, Cat Eyes bike uh, computer on here, a wireless. I think what I'm going to do before the trip is maybe pick up uh, a, uh, a Garmin to stick up front. For right now I have my Saigo light on here. I believe this is only a 650 lumen. You're going to need to figure out a way how to mount that light or move the gear up front so that I can utilize it and it not pointing in the middle of nowhere. So that's something that I'm going to have to work on as well. I mean it's a very good light. I like it. 
Uh, it's not the brightest. Uh, Saigo Light makes some brighter lights now. I may just try to pick up a new one. Now up front I have this accessory pouch. And I got this on sale from Elevate Devines not too long ago. Uh, it has little loops. To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure what I can attach to these loops. It may not attach anything, to be honest. Uh, all these bags that Relevate Designs have, have waterproof garages, and they are coated on the inside so they are waterproof, or as waterproof as they can get. Uh, that's nice to have, especially for something that's all weather. But uh, this front bag, I basically got this, and this has a nice little mesh divider in it. Uh, I got this to stick my electronics, uh, my small camera, my cell phone, uh, battery charger, that kind of thing. That way I could stick it up front. That way I could, you know, film uh, my trip uh, and just, you know, be able to stuff it back in here. At least that's the plan right now. This sleeping pad is so small. Uh, this is the uh, Thermarest. Uh, designs pad. It's uh, I think the XL light. I mean this is my favorite pad. It's very tiny. It blows up fairly quickly and it's the most comfortable thing I've ever had. The sweet roll I have my Marmon Hydrogen. Uh, it's a 30 degree bag. It's probably the lightest uh, bag that I have for its size. It's down bag. Uh, there's I have a video on this bag as well in comparison to some of the other bags. It only weighs about a pound, so it's pretty light. Uh, in addition, up here, up front, I have my down jacket. Uh, it's a uh, ultralight down jacket. I think I believe it's a Mont Bell. So, it's all my warm sleeping stuff is going to go in here. I'll probably stick a uh, a stocking cap, uh, maybe a heavier stocking cap, and some gloves in here. Probably won't need it because the plans for the trip is to be in late. June, so hopefully all the snow in the mountains has uh, has melted by then. What I figured is I probably need more room on the bike for necessities or just in case. So what I did was I went online and I bought a couple other things that I figured I just might need. Uh, I've seen other bike packers with their setups and they always had gear up front on their front shock. And I figured I could buy what they have and spend a lot more money or I can kind of fabricate my own setup uh, using cheaper gear on the web. So all this is is a Blackburn metal frame with a little shelf underneath and it will mount to your bike. Now what I was thinking is I could get zip ties and zip tie this to the front fork. Now one more thing I'm going to add to this that I don't have at this point is I'll probably go to a hardware store and buy some 3M foam. Stick the uh, the foam on here. That way, I can mount this uh, Blackburn frame to the bike, and then zip tie it to the bike. That way, I've got extra room to put extra gear. Now, in addition to what I bought was these envisioned cinch straps which I've done videos on Envision before uh, I trying to figure out what size would be the best and I ordered uh, I believe these are 20 inch cinch straps which are a little bit different than the ones that I have the video on and I also ordered this is a 2 liter dry bag if you were to look at uh, I think Salsa and maybe one other company makes a uh, not a bottle holder you're looking at around 60 bucks up a piece so you're at 120 bucks I've got you around 80 bucks less and that's with Amazon which is where I got all this stuff you know no shipping with Prime so extra space on your bike uh, fabricated stuck on here under 80 bucks well the last thing I'm taking on my trip is this Osprey Manta 28 pack. Now this is a pretty good pack and it's kind of designed to be a uh, commuter and a biking pack as well. Although it's a large pack for biking, I think it's perfect for this use. Uh, 
you've got a spot, a uh, mesh spot here on this side. You have a pocket here on the opposite side, a pocket here on this side for small items. So you've got several pockets. This is actually a little loop designated as a uh, bike helmet loop that you can run your, uh, your snaps through, so that's kind of nice. Spot up top that is uh, kind of foamy covered. I think this is the great spot to stick my sunglasses, to be honest. It's almost like the perfect size for sunglasses. Uh, then you have you know, your side pockets, extra water bottles. The plan, for this pack anyway, is to keep at least one change of clothes and my food. Now, I'm going to be out on the trail for about four to five days, and I'm going to be eating at least twice a day and then snacks once a day. It may be that I have to throw a bear bag in there, I don't know, but hopefully that won't take up too much of the pack. In addition to that, uh, the hydration hose, and I've got the bladder in here, so I'll probably fill that up. The hammock I'm taking on this trip is the Hennessy ASIM Backpacker Lite. Taking the, uh, the tarp that goes over top of it, which is ASIM and very, very light, uh, I've replaced it with a heavier, more covering tarp. So for right now, that's the loadout that I have on this bike. Well, if you have any suggestions, let me know. If you think that there's equipment that I should have that I don't, or equipment that I do have that I probably won't need, let me know about that as well and put it down below.